Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, and we are out here in the garden. I've got my floppy hat on because the sun is already super bright. Um, we need to do some pruning. I need to work on these green stalks. They are, they're needing some attention. I'm standing right in front of one right now, so it's hard for me not to just keep staring at all the things that need to be done on this thing. Um, so we're going to work on that for a little bit, and we're going to go inside and probably make some bread. That's my plan today is to show you guys a really easy homemade bread recipe. We'll talk about that more later, but uh, what I'm going to do is show you guys what these green stalks are looking like right now and um, what we're going to do to kind of hopefully make these look a little bit better and also make sure that all the pockets in there are getting the sun and um, they have the space that they need. They're not getting crowded out by any other plants. So, um, give me a second to get you guys spun around here and we'll be ready to go. If I take a step back from this first one, you can see that it's not a total, hi Lolo. <laughs> um, you can see it doesn't look terrible. I still think these things are just dreamy. Um, you can see in the top here, I've got my little box that's just, um, that just has like my garden tools in it, which it's not a lot of garden tools, <laughs> but anyway, that's got some garden tools in it. Um, but like this pea here, this is obviously not looking great. We're going to trim that way back and that'll give this marigold a little room to shine. And same thing with this pea down here. We're going to get that out of here um, and just kind of take a look at the other pockets. The peas, I think, are just about played out. I think that's just the nature of it. And last last week I showed you guys that we had um, harvested enough peas to have a good serving of them and I didn't do anything with those peas those peas are just sitting on the counter it's terrible um, but I also want to show you guys the other green stock because I think I'm gonna prune some cabbage today too so this is the second green stock and again it is also just looking like a dream this one looks healthier um, like I said I think it's just the nature of those peas they're just about played out can you guys see get down there that strawberry there oh I'm so excited to eat you yum um, but this cabbage yeah it's got a little bit of a head form in there I've read that as long as there is a head forming that you can prune your cabbage leaves so I'm probably going to do that on this one for sure. Um, you can see all these big outer leaves are really shading the other pockets around it. And I want to kind of try to eliminate that if I can. Um, I, this strawberry is starting to turn. It just caught my eye and I had, like literally lost my entire train of thought. So um, we are going to trim these. I'm going to give those baby chicks the leftovers. And I might finally thin out this um, celery that's growing down here. I don't know if we're going to go that far. Um, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. I also never planted that extra leek that I needed to. So I'm going to get that in here and just get a little bit done before it gets too hot. It's already almost 80 today. Um, I got my sunscreen on. Yeah, I was saying I got my sunscreen on. And when I sprayed that, it went straight in my mouth. So I've been tasting sunscreen all morning here. <laughs> Um, so it's important it's important to uh, to use your sunscreen I already have a really great farmers tan I'm not looking to improve that any further um, so use your sunscreen wear your floppy hats is what you're supposed to do I don't make the rules um, but let's get to some pruning and I'll show you guys how much we get out of here and what we have to offer to the chickens once this is done the one thing that I've noticed about these green stalks is they are addictive. Sorry, the babies were barking. Um, I want 17 of these things. I want one that's just for carrots, and I want one that's just covered and overflowing in nasturtium. Um, it's, it's, it's a real issue. I want all of the green stalks. Um, the one nice thing about these nasturtiums, because they are spreading and creating some shade, shade, is that these coleus that I have growing in here, 
um, they're not getting blasted by the sun like I expected them to so they have held up so well I've got one that's starting to go to seed and I'm gonna try to save those seeds that's another goal that I have for this year is to really start saving some more of my own seeds um, I really want to learn more about that I would does anybody want a dog um, <laughs> so anyway that's a goal that I have is I really want to be able to save my own seeds also while I've been out here trimming my dad just yelled out that there is a hummingbird at the feeders so that was pretty awesome um, it is getting warm though I need to quit running my mouth and get things done I'm pretty well finished with this first one you can see there are still some peas that I left um, this one doesn't look totally shot yet it's obviously got some bad places but um, I left that I trimmed this one way back and this one down here I feel like I should have done more with but I'm gonna kind of let it hang out and see what it looks like I also trimmed back the nasturtiums where it felt like they were kind of taking over some pots so let me spin this around here I've got this one huge huge bunch of it that um, I didn't touch that too much I did trim off some of the bottom um, because it was kind of getting into my carrots so I trimmed that off um, and in trimming cleaning all this up I have found a few empty pockets that I can plant plant something new in I need to research a little bit about what's a nice um, hot weather <laughs> type of uh, plant to get in here I did have to trim back some of this coleus as well um, just because it was kind of cutting in on a carrot and you guys know I want the carrots are what I'm here for evidently this year um, and also once I got in here and got to look and this kale is starting to look really really nice um, that's looking good and there was another one over here yeah this kale plant is looking really good so that'll be nice um, if we don't eat that right away I'll just dehydrate it I might trim back some more of these leaves these are yellower than I thought um, and again these can just go straight into the chickens I have a five gallon bucket that I'm just throwing all the scraps in um, that are edible I didn't put the coleus in because I don't know if the chickens can eat that um, so I'm just gonna pitch that in this compost pile all right so I did thin out some cabbage on this is this the one that I thinned so much no I did trim some of this one it's not as big as the other one um, it's not as big as the other one I did trim this cabbage um, this one isn't looking the greatest so I I left it more alone than any of the others um, this one is the one I took the most off of but it really was blocking those other pockets around it and now you can see that um, the pockets are able to get a little more sunlight it might impact these strawberries right here um, but that's not bad and I also got that other leek planted so that's done and yeah it's just getting real warm outside already which obviously it's summertime it's what it does um, there's a buzzing bug so anyway I got um, uh, almost half a bucket to take to the chickens I'm going to share this between the babies and the big kids and um, yeah my face is the color of a tomato like a very ripe red tomato right now so I'm gonna get this into the children and then I'm going to probably head on inside back to the air conditioning hey y'all welcome back so I know I said that I was gonna make some bread this evening but I didn't do it <laughs> I am probably gonna do that this coming weekend um, to show you guys I have a really easy uh, no need bread recipe that I want to try for you guys and um, like I said, I was going to do that today, but I took a nap and I woke up with a headache. And so I just, I don't want to, do, I don't want to do it. But what I do want to make is burrito bowls for dinner. I'm going to make some chicken burrito bowls and I'm going to make it all in the pressure cooker. Um, this is, uh, this is a Ninja foodie pressure cooker. You can use an instant pot. You can use any brand. I think we've got literally, we have three different kinds they uh, mom and dad have one in the camper I have this one here and then we have a spare one um, stuck away like in our, our laundry room back porch area um, but it's gonna be pretty easy I'm gonna cook the chicken first and then I'll cook the rice and instead of doing different toppings to put on there like peppers onions um, corn black beans I'm just gonna put it all in there anyway 
<laughs> we're gonna season this all up it's gonna be pretty easy pretty low-key um, I think I have some guacamole in the deep freeze that I'm gonna go grab and um, we have some sour cream cheddar cheese whatever to go on top of them and uh, yeah so give me a second I'll get you guys set up so that you can see what's happening and we'll get started okay so I went into Kroger yesterday, and I never go to Kroger, but I happened to go in, um, and they had chicken on sale. So I got a pack of chicken thighs and a pack of breasts. I'm going to use um, probably one of these big chicken breasts and a couple thighs. That'll give us enough for tonight. I'll have enough to eat for probably lunch tomorrow, and that'll work out great. Um, I am out of my taco seasoning, but I did have a packet and I've also got some, most of the other spices to make taco seasoning. Um, give me one second to grab that. This is all we're using. This, um, Meyer brand taco seasoning mix, nothing fancy. Um, I'm going to sprinkle this on the chicken and probably sprinkle whatever's left over onto the rice when we're ready to do that. But what I am going to do here. I'm going to throw in probably three of these chicken thighs. I'm not going to worry about trimming um, the fat off of these or anything. We're just going to roll with it tonight. And let's get, is this one whole big one here? No, okay. So I'm going to take this giant one. Because that's going to be shredded up. That's going to be plenty of meat there for us. You could do two chicken breasts. But let's be real. The dark meat is where it's at. The dark meat tastes better. Um, I'm going to wash my hands because I did get kind of chickeny. And start seasoning this up. So, like I said, we're not going to do anything super fancy with this seasoning on the chicken. We're going to go in with um, some of this taco seasoning mix smells so good. Let's do a little bit more of that. And just some salt. You can tell where it's been humid outside. Sometimes my salt gets a little clumpy. Um, so that's good. And ugh, great mercy. Uh, we're just going to kind of toss this around in the seasoning and get everything coated. In the instant pot or the pressure cooker here, I've got, um, please don't fall. Okay, I've got just a rack. This is actually one of my dehydrator racks that fits in here, but I couldn't find the the other one. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to set that in here, and I'm going to add about a cup of water. What I'm going to do is, after we cook the chicken, I'm not going to take this water out. I'm going to use that to help flavor the rice, so it'll just be a little more flavorful than plain white rice. But I'm going to get this mixed up. Get it put in the pressure cooker, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're ready. That was easy peasy. Now, again, if you just wanted to use chicken breast, just use two chicken breasts. If you want to use all chicken thighs, there's still a six pack of chicken thighs. Use all three. It does not matter. Um, whatever chicken your family likes. So, I am going to turn this on. We are going to do pressure on high for... Uh, probably 14 minutes. I can usually do this in about 12, um, but because I do have that bigger breast, let's do 14 just to be safe. Oh, I need to get the lid on there. Okay, the lid is on. I've got the uh, valve set to seal. Always remember that. And check the seal inside of that to make sure that that's in there correctly. We're going to go ahead and hit start. Let this do its thing. I'm going to put this chicken in um, bags and kind of walk away. So I got this um, chicken in a bag. I was going to put it in the food saver, but I thought I would go ahead and just put a quick marinade on it for these chicken breasts. That way, once we pull these out, it, they've already got some flavor to them. And as they freeze, excuse me, as they're freezing and thawing, that marinade will really work deep into the chicken. So let me show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you down a little bit. Now, if I had fresh lemons, I would absolutely be using those. I don't, so we're using the lemon juice today. We are going to add a quarter cup of this. I have a half cup measurer today, so obviously we're just going to eyeball this. It doesn't have to be precise at all. 
I usually do this in Ziploc bags and I have one of those little doohickeys that'll hold it up and hold it open for me. We are also going to add in a quarter cup of, shake that up, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sister sauce. I still like Roy's sister Cherie sauce. That was my favorite that I heard. There's that. This smells so good. That Worcestershire sauce adds so much flavor to this. Oh, I already opened that. And we're going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper to this too. And I'm going to food save it now because this has liquid in it. We're not going to suck it all the way, suck all the air and liquid out of that. I'm just going to get a little bit of the air out. And then that'll be ready to go in the freezer. And we'll have a delicious meal that just needs some sides ready to go. I have just gotten our chicken out of the pressure cooker put it on this wooden bowl um and i wanted to show you guys this if you don't know this trick for shredding your chicken it will change your life um you can also do it in a stand mixer but if you have a hand mixer and it's handy just do it with the hand mixer um it shreds it up so easily this bowl is a little small i probably should have cut up that big chicken breast before i did this but it will actually go through it it's making a way making its way through there. I'm just gonna get this shredded up and that'll go on our burrito bowls. But if you don't use your mixer to scan your chi or to shred your chicken, definitely give it a try because it makes it so easy. You can see how small it's getting this and you can still leave some in bigger chunks if you want to but it just makes it super super easy and it goes so much faster than if you were trying to do this with like two forks this also works on pork too like if you do a pork roast in the crock pot you want to shred that up for like pulled pork sandwiches just do it with the hand mixer save yourself some time So our chicken is shredded. Uh, we have, every, I'm getting everything ready for the rice. And I am gonna chop up an onion to put in here to go in with the rice. This is where you can add whatever you or your family likes or add what your family don't, or, or what your family doesn't like if you just wanna eat this yourself. Whatever works. Uh, I'm gonna just slice these this way because I don't like that. Now that I've done it, I want to cut those just a little bit. I still want like big pieces of onion. I just don't want maybe quite that long. And I'm going to put this whole onion in there. We really like onion. Um, so that's not a problem for us. But if you guys aren't um, big onion ears, just use half an onion. That's going to be plenty if that's all you want. Um, I'm going to get this chopped up and then I'll show you everything else. Um, I want to show you what this broth looks like that's in there now and how we're going to add the rice to just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit more. I'll be right back. You can see in the pot where we cooked our chicken, I still have, I have some broth and it's a really rich broth. I'm going to add, uh, I need about two and a half cups of water for this. So I'm going to add one full cup and probably close to another full cup because of everything that we're adding into the rice all right so i got the water added um i also put the onions in and i rinsed and drained a can of black beans i just used store-bought black beans because um i had those closer than the ones that i had canned myself the ones that i canned myself would actually probably have a little more um volume in them i think than the ones from the store but it's okay next thing we're gonna try to be careful about is I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a good like over a cup this is brown rice um, you can use white rice I have do and will again 
I just, um, brown rice doesn't store as well as white rice because of the oils in the, uh, in the grains. So I just had this. I figured I'd go ahead and start using it up. Now, I'm also going to add a pack of corn. This isn't a whole pack. I use some for something else. And I just, I use my food saver to seal it back up and put it right in the freezer. I'm going to add, that's probably... I don't know, that was probably a cup of frozen corn. Add as much as you like. Nobody cares you're making the rules. We're going in here with the dehydrated bell peppers. You could use fresh. I don't have any fresh, so I'm using, uh, I don't know, quarter cup or so of dehydrated bell peppers. We are also gonna add some lime juice because lime juice is really good if you have like cilantro lime rice it's delicious so we're gonna add in a couple tablespoons of lime juice on there I'm also gonna add some cilantro just gonna sprinkle some of that in there and I need to grab a spoon for this next thing the next thing that we're adding is our green powder. Look how much I've used with this green powder. I'm going to have to get some more uh, greens and get those uh, in the dehydrator. I'm just going to use a big spoonful on there. We are going to pour in the rest of our packet of taco seasoning. And I think I'm going to also add just a little bit more cumin for this you can tell I must have been using a lot of cumin because I took the little shaker part out of there so that was just about a teaspoon or so that wasn't very much uh, I have one more thing to add just one second the last thing that I'm adding is a can of petite diced tomatoes you could do Rotel if you wanted to have the chilies in there you could also just add a can of green chilies I'm not gonna do that because mom doesn't really like things spicy so, um, we'll put some jalapenos in once we get these in a bowl, if we want more spice. And this is looking good. All right. So, all I'm going to do is uh, get the pressure lid back on this. Um, if I were air frying, I would just use, I would just flip, fold this down because that's the air fryer lid. But we're not doing that today. So, um, I'm going to pressure cook this for about 23 minutes. I found that usually gets the best for rice. And then, um, oh, let me add some salt to this too. That was about a teaspoon of salt and we can add more. But it has a lot of flavor going on in it here. And the um, beans were not. Were the beans no salt added? Oh, yeah, they were. There were no salt added, but the tomatoes did have salt. The corn, of course, didn't. Um, so, anyway, yeah, this smells delicious. It's not even cooked yet. Uh, I'm going to get this going, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I have just opened the lid on this pot. It smells delicious. And... Um, everything looks done. I had a spoon here. There's a fork. I'm going to just give it a taste to uh, see if we need to add any spices. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. That's very good. It's really good. And with this rice, this wasn't an instant rice or anything. Um, it's all down the front of my shirt. I'm glad that y'all weren't seeing that. But, um, sorry, mom's on the phone in there. Um, this rice isn't overdone, so that's going to be good for leftovers. It won't, uh, it'll hold up a little bit. I'm going to get a bowl made up and show you what it looks like once I've got all the fixings in it. Okay, so we're going to make this up. I'm going to throw in... We're going to do some rice. Throw in some of this chicken that we shredded. And again, get as big or little of pieces as you want. I'm going to throw some 
Mexican blend cheese on here. Let me slap this back where you can see it a little better. So we'll throw a little cheese on there. We are going to go with some salsa. This is just some mild salsa um, because, like I said, mom doesn't really care for spice. But we'll put a couple spoons of that on there. A little sour cream. Some cowboy candy. These are those candied jalapenos. Um, we have not made these together, but we will one day. Because I need to make them up. I try to give these away for gifts. And, um, oh, one more thing. Hold on. I had some... Um, guacamole in the freezer and I just um, have been thawing that out so we'll top that with guacamole not necessarily. and that's what it looks like it's ready to go I thought I would also show you guys this this is a little um, metal bowl that I take back and forth to work and at work I have a tiny crock pot that it just drops down in and it's not a crock pot that it's gonna cook your food but it is gonna warm it really well um, so I will fill this up with um, the rice and chicken and then I'll have little containers of all the rest of this stuff but I'll take this to work and drop it in my tiny crock pot um, I'll put a picture of that on Instagram so that you can see it if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do. I'm at Steph's Stuff 270 on Instagram. And uh, I'll... Sorry, I was listening to the conversation in the other room. Uh, I will... Um, I'll post a picture of the tiny crock pot on Instagram so that you can see it. But I'll go ahead and get this ready too. Another thing is this is a good dish that I can mix my collagen with. Uh, because there's a little bit of moisture in this rice with everything, um, it's going to stir up really well and mix in really well in there. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a great lunch for tomorrow. And you can tell we have quite a bit of chicken still left over. Uh, there's plenty of rice to go around for a couple more days. Um, so, yeah, this is a great um, just kind of throw together meal and then eat off of it for a couple of days, which I always really enjoy. So, there's my lunch for tomorrow. I just got to get the extra good bits ready to go. I thought I would show you guys these little glass bowls. I bought them on Amazon, and I've used them for, like, meal preps and things. But, um, it worked really well for my, all my toppings to take for my burrito bowl tomorrow. Um, I've got my jalapenos in there, some shredded cheese, um, salsa, and sour cream. So, I'll just take this with me, and that'll go right on top. That's pretty handy. Let me show y'all one thing that happened today. While I was rooting around up here in this spice cabinet, um, spices fell out on me because it's a spice cabinet. It's crammed full. Um, and I had this ground cumin there. Um, and also, this fell out too. You all may have seen it. I haven't checked the footage yet to see what it looks like. But um, when I added that little teaspoon of ground cumin, it was ground cinnamon. <laughs> We all decided, though, that we didn't mind it. It wasn't overpowering. It didn't ruin the dish. It was just a nice little sweet undertone. So it was a happy accident. I don't know that I'll do it again on purpose, but if you guys saw that when it was happening, yeah, it really happened. We really ate cinnamon with our dinner, but it was delicious. We still really enjoyed it. So I want to thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. We spent a little time out with the green stalks. Um, I fed those treats to the little babies. And we've made a delicious dinner that's going to be good for another day or two. Um, there's plenty of leftovers in the fridge, and we have lots of toppings to go on this. Um, make that rice. If you guys like to have anything like a burrito bowl, if you want to eat it with tortilla chips, you absolutely can. Um, we, we all really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys try it. I hope you like it, and I hope you find that it's a good way to kind of help clean out your cabinets or use up anything that you need to. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Give us a comment down below. Anything like that helps us out on YouTube. Thank you so much and have a great night. I'll see you in the next video.